The Global Partnership for Education completes its summit in London Thursday. The GPE hopes to raise $5 billion to improve education in 90 countries and territories. Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Roble has been attending the conference. He has met with top officials from the GPE to inform them of Somalia's education needs. Among them has been the CEO of the organization, Alice Albright, who previously worked in the administration of U.S. President Barack Obama. A much-anticipated meeting with summit co-chair Uhuru Kenyatta has not taken place yet. The Kenyan president has been busy with his official role as well as convening with his hosts. Nairobi and London inked a five-year defense pact on Wednesday. Defense Secretary Monica Juma signed for Kenya. When ratified by the country's legislatures, it will continue training over a thousand Kenyan soldiers annually, as well as providing security infrastructure and equipment. The Education Summit is being attended by several African leaders. Beside Roble, they include Sierra Leone President Julius Bio, Ghana President Nana Akufo Addo, Malawi President Lazarus Makwera, Togo President Fauri Nasingbe. Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari has made news here by pledging to increase education spending by 50% over the next two years. The Global Partnership wants all member countries to commit at least 20% of national revenues to education. The UK is contributing $600 million to the GPE fund. Prime Minister Boris Johnson declared, Too many children around the world, girls in particular, were already out of school before the pandemic. Enabling them to learn and reach their full potential is the single greatest thing we can do to recover from this crisis and build better, greener, and fairer societies. The initiatives taken this week have the stated goal of getting 46 million more girls into school by 2026. Before the coronavirus pandemic interrupted so many classrooms, it was estimated 132 million girls were already not being taught. Human Rights Watch has issued a statement calling on the GPE to demand an end to discrimination by partner nations. They cited Tanzania banning pregnant girls from class and Bangladesh keeping Rohingya kids from classrooms as examples. ADN-TV will continue to report on international education initiatives.